Oh no. We lost audio from you. Oh no, we can't hear you. Yeah. Helps if I unmute myself. Sorry. You're <laughs> working okay. with a professional here. This video is brought to you by Potato Parcel. Yes, you heard that right. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including my guests. And my guests today are repeat offenders on Room 6. They're a pop punk band full of energy and a surprising amount of emotional depth. They're working with Nevada Wheelchair Foundation to get wheelchairs to those who need it. And their new lineup and new album I'm going to be reviewing, um, it's called Moshing Safety Tips Volume 1, so definitely subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell, that review will be coming soon. Please welcome to the channel, Wheelchair Mosh Pit. Hi guys. Thanks for having us. Jared, your hair is down, I'm disappointed. I know, yeah. I know, right? I should have put it up for this, I know. So, for those of you that don't know Wheelchair Mosh Pit, thank you for watching. Go ahead and introduce yourselves and tell them what you do in the band. Hi, I'm Kat. I'm the bassist and I also do co-vocals. Uh, I'm Jared. I play guitar and sing. Not very well, but I do. Um, and uh, we got... I'm Terry. I do drums and some minor vocals. Am I correct that you have a uh, you have some shows coming up, right? Yes. yes. Sir. Yep. yep. Cool. Yep. Bear, bear in mind, this is going to post um, probably uh, August 7th. Okay. Or I'm sorry, no, August 3rd. So what's coming down the pipe for Wheelchair Mosh Pit? Um, well, uh, we have some stuff shows here in July. Um, then we have, um, I know we're playing at, uh, the double down in, um, double down or red dwarf something in, in August. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. 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 No, red dwarf's at the end of July too. Yeah. I think there's one other one in August. Yeah. August 3rd. Uh, yeah. August 3rd. Oh yeah. August 3rd. So but, it might be, I mean, it might be tonight <laughs> for viewers. Yes. Oh no. We lost audio from you. Oh no. We can't hear you. Yeah. Helps if I unmute myself. Sorry. <laughs> okay. You're working with a professional here. <laughs> so there you go. If you're watching this uh, as it happens on August 3rd, then by all means, go to the show tonight. Tell them Room 6 sent you. So you once had a Redditor said you were trying to rip off Pit Boss 2000. Are you more Clevo hardcore or Cripple Punk? You know what? Um, that's a good question, actually. Um, I think uh, ideal-wise, we're more Cripple Punk. But uh, but it is but it's a fun question for sure. No, that's funny to think about. Well, oh. it's, you know, the interesting thing about like especially the music lately is that it's really like an amalgamation of all of our personal styles and preferences. So like I don't want to say we don't have a genre, but like it's definitely it's a mixed bag. Yeah. Yeah, you'll hear it in the album. It's very mixed. Yeah. Oh oh, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> very mixed. Yeah. It's very mixed. Well, I actually, we're working... go ahead. Sorry, we actually we are working on new songs, and I think it's a lot more diverse, um, than... diverse than the album. Yeah, can't wait. Um, yeah, some territory. Yeah, I enjoyed the SpongeBob music. That was fun. <laughs> 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 Copyright, baby. Yeah. yeah you know, right, right, right. <laughs> and it's finest. By the way, if you're watching this and you want to be like Wheelchair Mosh Pit, and you want to be, you know, featured on Room Six then hit me up using my email address down below or by clicking the Room 6 social media link. That's where you'll find all the ways you can support the channel, should you so choose, and also what else I'm up to online. It all helps, and I thank you. And what the heck, go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe button. All right, my YouTube obligations are done. Let's have some fun. <laughs> so um, I'm going to ask a, a couple questions that I, I asked you guys, uh, the gentlemen, I asked them when they were in my kitchen, and and I apologize for repeating myself, but it's kind of a thing, and, and OG Room Sixers like it. So we'll start with Terry and work our way around to the new girl. <laughs> so, actually, I'm, this this just goes is for all of you, and you can answer in whatever order you want. Let's talk about that earliest musical inspiration, okay? What I'm talking about is, what is that moment you remember going, I want to do that? Ooh, so last time I gave you the answer of my favorite band, which is representing Avenged Sevenfold. But what also started it was when 
2009 was here and we had that metal core scene of asking Alexandria and all those bands like that, Icy Stars and all that. That's what actually really triggered it. I want to be this cool, long hair, emo, um, crab stance, looking <laughs> ass, fag, drummer. <laughs> and that's what really started it. <laughs> okay. I didn't succeed. I, didn't succeed. <laughs> I don't got long hair. <laughs> I, I'm definitely fag, but I Yeah, that's the part, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, Next. for me, what it was, it was, uh, it was Guitar Hero was, I think, what I told you last time, which, like, I finally got a Guitar Hero tattooed, a loading screen from Guitar Hero on my arm. Nice. Um, but, uh, but I was thinking about it, we, well, so, when I was a really little kid, I think the first time I realized, I, the other day, the first time I ever performed in front of people, I was dancing to the song, uh, Larger Than Life by the Backstreet Boys. I had a CD, and I put. I had this little boom box, and I would, I would take it outside, and I'd dance, and I did it, like, learned this little dance and did it for the neighbors, and then, um, but uh, we started, the other day, we, we decided, we were like, we should do a Backstreet Boys cover, so now we're, we're covering that song, so it's kind of come full circle, actually, of, like, that was my first performance ever, and now, you know, here we are uh, playing it. And I'm the fag. Yeah. <laughs> I have no response to that, but okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I feel like mine's like so wholesome. My whole family is like super musical. And like, so I probably have been singing since I could speak. Like my grandma had a piano in her parlor. There was always music in the house and um, we'd watch American Idol. So I always knew like there was something to be done with singing in my life. Um, but I think the first time I really like wanted to be in a band um, was when my, when my brother um, actually became uh, the lead singer for his band in high school. Um, I was 14 at the time, and like he's he's like one of the people I look up to most in life. So, like seeing him do that made me want to do it, um, and now I'm doing it. <laughs> and look at you now. Yeah, you're a big kid. <laughs> I'm a big kid now. Right. Um, stick around, by the way. We're gonna be. Uh, are, are we gonna be seeing a music video after this? Sure. Yeah. We'll give yeah, you a video. Sure. Yeah. We'll give sure, you. We won't do this, but we'll give you a video. <laughs> right, stick around. We're going to be seeing something where they do what they're here for. <laughs> I'm a professional. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, Taylor Carlson from uh, Z Rock R uh, Magazine or Z Rocker Magazine compared you to Spinal Tap. How do you turn it up to eleven? I love that reference. I think that's just a who's most, that? And so it's real. Who's Final Tap? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Perfect answer. Perfect answer. Um, no, I I love that. I think I think that's um I think really yeah. Like honestly, like our our I think part of our 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 desire with with like working with the charity and everything. Like we we still have to you know a lot of parts of the of living in a wheelchair and a lot of parts of just life in general are are really tough. And humor is like the best way to just kind of disarm some of that. You know, it's just. You gotta laugh. You gotta be silly. You gotta just, you know. My favorite thing is trying to write down good jokes to tell between songs. Uh, they'll tell you they're not great, but uh, but I have fun with it. So, yeah, it's yeah. Final tap is like that's just such a perfect like that. That was very flattering to hear that. Nice. Uh, watch out, Terry. You're the drummer, and you know what happened to Spinal Tap. <laughs> exactly. I don't even know who they are. That's uh -huh. just, I'm just being serious. Can we just like can, can we acknowledge the irony of the names too? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, we we acknowledged it last time. Like nobody's in a wheelchair. Uh, right. ha, you had you have had a wheelchair in the mosh pit though. Yeah, several, several times, quite a few several. times. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, and we do. Um, well, and then we've had uh, on the on the most recent album. Um, uh, we had uh, our friend who was in a wheelchair wrote a song that we played on the album. So we have a songwriter involved with us that is in a wheelchair. But yeah. So. Oh, that's very cool. Which it's song? Um, that is, um, Angel, in yeah, Angel in a Bottle. Yeah, Angel in a Bottle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could see that. I could see how that, from that perspective, because yeah, right. I've reviewed it, you know, and it's coming out. Yeah. So, <laughs> Can we um, your review? cool, cool. Let's talk a little bit about your favorite show memory playing as Wheelchair Mosh Pit. And I know, again, Jared and, T and Terry, I, I, we, I threw this at you last time, I think, but, um, I'm curious to see what if, if there's a new one and, and Kat, of course, this is new to you. What is that just memory of like you pull out at a party and say this one time, <laughs> you know? I think for me it was still yeah, Mashi and I Area 51 is uh, is pretty hard to beat. Kind of playing at Area 51, but that was that's when me and Terry met actually. 
So it's not technically wheelchair mosh pit, but you know, that was pretty cool. Still got the dust on the drums. Exactly. Yes. Yes, exactly. Just like the line. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you go. <laughs> That's some fun stuff. There's so many. Yeah, yeah right. There are honestly are. Um, I think another one I really like, well, like all the, um, the house party is going to get pretty wild. Uh, the other day, these two, one of their least favorite show memories it was the last house party. It was the last that house party. Horrible. I, I blacked out. Uh, I was blacked. I don't remember playing. I remember playing like one song. That was the toga and, party? Uh, at the toga party. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That wine was much stronger. Wine, wine's a lot stronger than beer. So, um, you can't drink it like beer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's funny about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think mine would have to be right before I joined uh, Wheelchair, we did a house show here, and it was my previous band, Hades Hand, and uh, you think we're lit. Oh, I get worse lit with those guys, man. I've been drunk, blacked out like he has at these house shows, and I do better, but um, I remember, like, Eli, our bass player at the time, he would, every time we'd finish a song, he'd pull my hair back and just down it with Jack Daniels and just put it back. <laughs> <laughs> every song he would do that. Shout out Jack Daniels after every song. Damn. I mean, okay. So for those of you that don't know, I, I've had Hades hand on. They were one of the OG Room Sex interviews, like first season one, you know. And uh, it was wild. I think it was a Halloween episode. Was a like Halloween. I was a priest, <laughs> so it's just I, I was like, whoa, save me. What have I done? But. um also, we have a history, uh, Terry, you probably remember this. Uh, I was sang in a band that we, we played uh, Envy Enter, um, or the Envy Showcase at House of Blues. Yes, you have said that, yes. Yes, and that I remember you guys, you blew me away, but there was no, there, there, at that point, there was no downing of the whiskey on, on stage. No, <laughs> that was not even thought of yet. Yeah, but also, you know, we were all, at that point, we were all like kind of nervous, and it's House of Blues, and also, right. we only had a 45-minute set, so, you know, mm -hmm. or was it a half hour? I don't remember. Anywho. I digress. So that's everybody with your favorite show memory, basically? Yeah, I mean, honestly, one of my favorite memories with these guys was the first time I kind of jammed with them. Um, it was I wasn't even officially a part of the band yet, but we were all in the band room playing whatever the hell. <laughs> um, and I, I actually like just started singing and, and doing some heavy vocals just to just to contribute. And like it just felt right. So Awesome. This one time in band room. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So before we go on, I got a couple more questions for the band. But before we go on to that, and before we see that music video, whatever it is, after the interview, we're going to take a quick break here and hear a message from future Josh. So who's break? And now a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. You know what I love? Surprise gifts. You know what I really love? Gifts that are clever, unexpected, and most of all, edible. But what the heck? Let's throw someone's face on it while we're at it. Potato Parcel is a service that allows you to send anyone a personalized message on a potato. Thinking of sending a birthday, congrats, get well soon card? This is a quirky and hilarious alternative to the traditional card. Your friends, family, and others will get a kick out of it. Just for watching this video, and for a limited time only, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your order by entering the coupon code TAKE10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Potato Parcel for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. Welcome back, and if that sponsor spot interested you at all, please consider clicking the link down below. It'll help you out, it'll help me out, everybody wins, yay. Um, in case you're just joining us, interviewing Wheelchair Mosh Pit, stick around, we'll be seeing something from them at the end of this interview. And I've got a few more questions. But um, first off, I wanted to ask, I didn't really like get them all off of Instagram, what are the four rules for going on tour with Wheelchair Mosh Pit? I know number one. <laughs> oh, no. Fucking piss before we're leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've had some incidents. Yeah, you make it to <laughs> like pr prim and then you're like, I gotta take a leak. Yeah. And sometimes we don't listen when they say they gotta yeah. take a leak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you don't pull over when I need you to. That's how it goes. Sometimes they don't hold the bottle upright. <laughs> and pee might go everywhere. <laughs> nice. Uh, tour life. Uh, something I never actually got ex to experience, I'm sad to say. So, uh, but there were there were like four rules apparently, and, and one of them had to do with something about like uh, 
Is it no sex until something or other? Or, or I forget what. Mm. Uh, that's probably a good one. No. Yeah, there's no pussy. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. yeah. No pussy until you finish your dinner. Terry, yeah, Terry. There uh, it is. Terry's was quite a, uh, a feature wild. of that tour. So we, we, we actually call, uh, when, when we're on tour, uh, we, we actually take my car, but we call the we call the bussy bus. Um, and, and so usually, it, it, so it's four of us in there. It's us and then uh, Zoe, our merch girl. She was actually, she was going to be here actually for the interview. I had, I had mentioned something to her about it. But um, yeah, so it, it's, it's kind of a little tight in there, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's what they say about his car too yeah exactly <laughs> nice, nice and tight, <laughs> nice and tight. Yeah, bussy, nice and tight. Hey, hang on a second <laughs> yeah. thank you thank you thank you thank you there we go um so so the other two rules you don't remember fuck no uh <laughs> cool, um, cool. i don't know there probably are some rules but uh terry drives important. home yeah, yeah terry drives so that's the terry rule. always terry drives home, home because terry drives home yeah yeah Right on. Truck driver in the previous life. So. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I actually was. I worked for CR England here in Vegas. Nice. Oh, I have no. not heard anything bad about them. Oh, <laughs> just like They're those bastard dogs. Swifts. <laughs> nice. Um, so I wanted to ask, who made the uh, handicap placard behind you? Uh, Dennis, um, uh, the band Sector 7G. Well, you've interviewed them. Um, he made he made that exactly right. Yep, it, that's right. You notice a theme, <laughs> color. Yeah, right. That's why I was thinking. I should. I'm like, I want to have mine in the background so I can match yours. There you go. Yeah. Well, Fuck yeah. Dennis, Sector Seven G. Shout out to you. Um, yeah. I, 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 that is one of the, the last things coming off the wall. I, I want you to know that. Um, so, from there, any plans to uh, put a fourth member back in? Um, actually, yeah, um, we've been looking, um, we actually have, um, so again, remember recording this, this is July, uh, right, right before we play, um, we're playing backstage barn billiards, uh, on Thursday, uh, a couple of days from now. Um, and we actually have, um, I don't know if we should say who, who it is, but it's somebody from a big band, um, big touring band. They just got back from Europe or was it Japan something? Oh, no, they were on the East Coast, I think. Yeah, yeah. they did. Well, the, the think, tour before that was a Japan band. Or yeah. Japan tour. And I think they're yeah. going to Europe. Yeah, they're going to Europe next, I think. But, but yeah, but uh, so we have a guitar player from uh, from that band uh, joining us on stage. Um, and um, I don't know, we'll see if it, uh, it's probably too busy to stay around, but um, but we're going to be kind of looking for more people for somebody who really just fits the vibe, you know, fits in and yeah. Right on, because I know you had a different drummer who's also been on the channel and Terry was playing bass, I think. Uh, no, no, um, that was, well, Alfred, Alfredo was playing bass, but, uh, but no, we did have Shane, Shane from Decane Tigers, uh, and Lambs oh, Lions. That's right. I don't know why I thought Shane was drumming for you because he drums for, no, he doesn't. He doesn't drum for. He plays bass for them. Yeah. Yeah. For, I don't know where that, he became a drummer okay. in my head, but anyway, yeah. right on. Cool. Um, yeah. so did Algorithm really leave a microphone at your house or was that? Yes, they did actually. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they left, they left. Actually, they just came back. They just did the whole, that whole same bit the other day. Without the cameras, um, when he left, a, he left a cable at the last show. Mm -hmm. Much cables here, so yeah. If you don't I hang him up, right? Yeah, exactly. Right? You gotta, you gotta <laughs> put him up, man. Looks nice. Mm -hmm. um, those guys are great. I love Algorithm. Honestly, can't say enough nice things about those guys. They just really, they're they're their music's fantastic, and they're just such wonderful, just talented guys. Nice guys. Nice. My favorite local. Yeah. Uh, Speak. Oh, sorry. No, no, you first. I was gonna say this is probably old news, but um, Tom was amazing um, filming Fun Police for us. Yeah, he was great. I was there. Oh, yeah, there right. we go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you're in that. I love that you're in the first like thirty <laughs> seconds of the song. I know. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. If you haven't seen that video, it's it's fun. Um, but also, uh, it, Tom and Carl from Algorithm were filming. So yeah, yeah. and the, I really like what they did with the uh, the editing. That was Me fun. Too. And you know, you had a. Uh, Quite a number of people I, that have been on the channel were in that channel that that video, so that yeah. was nice. I was like, "Hey, I know him. I know them." Um, so, one more question. You made it. Last question. Yay! Okay. Um, obviously, it's different. We don't. For some reason, the virtuals there isn't quite as many rabbit holes. For some reason, things don't. It doesn't just spontaneously germinate rabbit holes right. as much. So, I apologize in advance if you're tuning into this. You're expecting like a hour-long interview sorry 
It's okay. Ooh. But also, they've been on the channel before. There's only so many things I can ask. Right. Um, and this is, a, a, a again, OG Room Sixers know this. Jared and Terry, you know what's coming probably. So, Kat, we're going to circle back to that earliest musical influence question. Let's pretend we're talking a little you. And Jared, you're not allowed to say the same answer about looking like your Guitar Hero character. <laughs> okay. What is one thing you could jump in a time machine, go talk to little you, or just some new musician? What is one thing you wish someone had told you, hey, you're going to need to know this? And don't say change your strings. Oh, <laughs> nice. Um, you're going to have to know how to play with others. <laughs> I think that's like, the biggest it, lesson I've learned. It does help playing in a band if you can play with others, yes. <laughs> It's a big element of it. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Literally. Like. I mean. I mean. I. I have four siblings now, and I feel like we all were like down each other's throats, like <laughs> my entire childhood. So like, working in a team, something kind of new to me. Um. Obviously, as adults, like we've gotten better, but yeah, like, I think that's probably the biggest struggle. <laughs> I think you're excelling at it. I think you're great. That's, we love having you here. Um, I think for me, what I would go back and I, I think um, I think I'd tell myself to practice, like um, practice everything else too. Uh, like sometimes, and I, I think this is something that I, I do. I tell other like musicians is like, yeah, obviously it's important to practice your instrument, but there's so much other stuff. I say this all the time that playing in a band is it's ninety five percent. It's five percent playing music, ninety five percent everything else showing up on time booking the shows calling doing interviews uh making posts writing the songs recording them there's so much other stuff being in the band all that stuff that goes along with with playing music and it's not playing music uh those are the things and you can you can practice all those things there's ways to do all that um or even just practicing you know like we have a, and so in this room right behind the, uh, the our uh, camera here is a wall-to-wall -wall mirror and that's it's wonderful for us for practicing because we're we're watching ourselves practice you know perform we can see how we look on stage so i think for me i would go back and tell myself just keep practicing everything else too like practice like you know yeah how you dress everything like that just practice the those the things that because there's so much more to play music than just than just playing music Agreed. Very much so. Terry? I would take myself back to the future myself, look him in the eye and be like, kid, you're done. You ain't shit. You're done. Give up while you can right fucking now. You're done. Adios. Bon bonjour. Whatever I fucking said. Who cares? Fucking hang yourself from the ceiling. You're done, kid. Out of the Dear business. Lord. That's it? There's nothing else? <laughs> That's you're, it. You're stuck. Hang now. yourself. You're dead. <laughs> not worth it. It's not worth it. Wow, I'm really glad time sh travel doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> right now, right? <laughs> Suddenly Terry's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Right on. Uh, so yeah, I got I got nothing. I got I, I couldn't say it any better, I guess. So <laughs> thank you for what watching. About, oh, go ahead. You, what about you as an interview? I've always wanted to ask you that. If you if could I, go back and say yourself about interviewing people about doing this part of it i i'm of two minds because there's the there's the now me and there's the me that secretly always wanted to be like you know a rock star right and and, and that me is a bit more selfish of a, an egotistical because you know singers yeah so <laughs> i that me is always like you know what hold off on the relationship stuff but that's where you get your songs, you know, <laughs> like True. Yeah. both of my albums, most of it was written about either an ex-girlfriend or my current wife. And, uh, 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 and, and, but, but also I think if I went back, the one thing I would tell myself is get comfortable with being uncomfortable when yeah. it comes to learning anything new, because yeah. the, un the uncomfortable means that you're learning. When, it, when you can't do it wrong, then it's time to challenge yourself again. And sometimes that makes you miserable if you run out of things to do. 
Um, I thrive, like most people, I thrive when I'm behind the eight ball on something. But as soon as I can find myself, oh, I can breathe. Well, now what? <laughs> and I, yeah. I get I get that. Trust me, I'm looking at a list right now of to do of it, things I have to rec write, record or edit. And uh, this one is nowhere near the top. <laughs> there's, a right. lot, there's a lot of you things I, I get to do. You do a lot. You, I, I'm really always impressed by the amount of editing that goes in your videos. Like you have a, you have a, a big production with your videos. I, it's, it's impressive. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, you very put much. A lot of work. Yeah. It's the work. Fortunately, it's like you may notice a certain. I don't want to say formulaic, but like there are a lot of things with my videos that like there's a reason why the review videos all use the same audio track for the background music. There's a reason why certain things are in there you know there's a reason why i put together that that little intro clip you know with the the yeah. different things that because i had to sit there and make some decisions about okay how can i do this efficiently because at one point i mean i was putting out like four or five videos a week i mean not counting like live streams uh or i mean i mean including live streams but even then there's work ahead of time the nice thing about live streams is as soon as you hit stop streaming it's done it's baked in you can't do anything but there's all the work ahead of time and also there's the leaving home so yeah it is a lot i very i have a very understanding family but yeah. fortunately virtual lets me at least you know not clean the kitchen right right very true what's funny is that um every so often uh you know my father-in-law owns the house he's selling it and that's why we're moving um he has cleaners come in and so the kitchen is the best it's looked in you know a couple of weeks yes. But, Sounds excellent. but I still, I, I, I still couldn't. Yeah, it's for nothing. It's for us. <laughs> no, it's for the walkthroughs. So uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming mm -hmm. on the channel. Stick around. We're going to mm -hmm. see something from them. And then we're going to catch you in the outro. Temporarily say goodbye, guys. Thank you very All much. Right. Thanks for having us. We love Room 6. Room 6 legitimizes our scene. Thank you. <laughs> see you soon. We're Wiltshire Mosh, but this is our song, Fun Please.
I want to thank Wheelchair Mosh Pit for coming on the show. It was a great interview and an awesome music video. If you want to know more about them, click the links down below for the social media and stop by a show. Buy some merch. You'll be glad you did. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click over there and don't forget to ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, which is not pop punk, click over there. Don't forget to check out my inter my review of Moshing Safety Tips Volume 1 coming out soon. And, um, oh yeah, remember to be amazing. We'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye, guys. Bye. 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 Thanks, guys. Bye. Guys. <laughs> Aw. We're giving you a big old hug, too. Aw. And here it comes. Ready? <laughs> ba da ba ba da ba. Ba.